Okay, uh, welcome anatomy students. Here we're taking a look now at dissection number seven. This is the pre-lab video that we need to have watched before dissection seven is begun in class. Uh, these are tonight, today we're taking a look at the deep chest muscles of the cat for dissection seven. To start out, we're going to have to actually cut through all of those pectoralis muscles that you spent so much time dissecting in an earlier dissection. Uh, if you'd like to, you can always cut the other side through these, the ones that you did not dissect, totally fine. But for this demo here, I'm going to cut first through the ziphi humeralis, make a cut right in the middle of that muscle. Uh, then we're going to make a move now to the pectoralis minor. We'll cut through that guy. About the only thing I need you to be careful about when you're making these incisions is that you don't gouge into the uh, muscles on the chest itself. So just make sure you don't like drag the point of your scissors. Um, referring to like right here. We don't want to accidentally like gouge on the lines there, okay? So just kind of keep careful there. All right, cut through the pectoralis minor, cut up into the pectoralis major, okay? Another important feature, one other important feature I want you guys to think about is we want to be able to make sure we have these nice midlines that you're going to be able to see. When we're making our cut, I should have a nice pectoralis minor a really good ziphi humeralis, a good pectoralis major, and pecto antibrachialis. I'm going to have these like little strips here. You're going to see this, okay? So let's make sure we see those when we're all done. That way we have good reference. Again, you can see all those parts. Uh, that's why it was so critical when we went along the midline. You're going to find this nasty blood vessel uh, combo right here in the middle. Okay. A little bit of blood vessels. You're just going to cut right through it with your scissors. We're, we're, again, we're looking at the deep, deep chest now. Okay, going to be cutting through. In fact, you're going to cut all the way up, and eventually you're going to know you're far enough when you cut right through the clavicle. You might actually feel this snip as the scissors cut through the clavicle. Uh, interesting enough, uh, when we go to Cal Poly and see the bodies there, the ribs on the cadavers, the way they cut those is just with a scissor. Um, so, again, kind of weird. You must have some really strong scissors here. Your scissors should have no problem cutting through. All right. So first step that you're going to do once you get underneath all of this is you need to kind of try to remove um, some of this white fascia, kind of pinkish stuff that's covering, covering you. One thing I want to notice here, I tried to highlight it here. You're going to first muscle you're going to find is this guy that runs all the way down. He kind of ends about right there, all the way down, and he has these certain breaks to him. Any ideas what that might be? This is going to be your rectus abdominis. So you can actually find the rectus abdominis way up here. You already saw him down here under the flap. So we can continue this video. You'll see the rectus abdominis. I'm getting under him right there. Okay. Don't get too crazy. Again, we're going to kind of leave him just like a, a, a book page. He's still going to be attached to the midline here. Okay. We'll leave him attached at the midline. And we're just going to get under him right there. Okay. So rectus abdominis. And he goes all the way down. Okay. I kind of carefully get under him. Okay, the next muscle we're going to look for here, I believe, is the transversus castarum. Transversus castarum, you're going to see, I didn't pause it at a really good place, you're going to see running this direction. So that means our probe is going to come underneath the transversus castarum. All right, there's rectus abdominis. I'm removing some more of this connective tissue on top. And you can see my probe, I'm delicately getting underneath. I'm kind of pulling some of this connective tissue off. Let's see if I can pause it at a good moment here and we can kind of see all these muscles that are going to be... Uh... All right, how about this? So let's, let's highlight all the muscles that we need to know. Okay, rectus abdominis is going to be here. I looked at that earlier, the rectus abdominis. Transversus castarum is right here. Okay, and then we're going to have a muscle called the scalenus. Okay. And the scalenus is actually kind of made of three things kind of put together. Very funky looking muscle. Okay, scalenus trans, uh, versus castarum and rectus abdominis. And our coracobrachialis is going to be up here, and then we'll look at that later. All right, so let's keep the video moving. There we go. Underneath the transversus castarum. Okay, you are going to make it like a little ribbon. Be really careful. 
very common for people to wreck it right there. They end up just tearing this right off and you get a little flag and you know you messed up then. So be really careful. Just get under it like a little ribbon. Okay, rectus abdominis, transversus costarum. Don't separate him from the midline. Keep him attached. Okay, next we're going to get underneath uh, one of the uh, branches of the scalenus. Okay, you can see I'm getting my probe under, and again, it's going to be a little ribbon. Very thin little muscle. Kind of very similar to the rhomboideus capitis as far as like its thickness and size. Okay, so we're going to get underneath it. It's like a little ribbon. Very nice. Okay. Carefully peel all of this stuff off. Got a really nice transversus castarum. There's my first branch of the scalenus. There actually is going to be a second branch that we're going to be able to get under. A little bit thinner than that first one I looked at. And the more stuff that you can remove, the better you're going to see these. Oh, there you go. You see I'm now underneath the second branch of the scalenus. It's not going to be as long as the first, so it's just a kind of a sm short little area right about there. And a lot of work is done just cleaning everything up, so that way we have a nice ribbon that I can run the probe all the way from one side to the other. Perfect. There's the first branch done. And I move him over the way. I got the second branch, which is about half the length of that first branch. So that's all scalenus right there that I'm under. Okay. So we've done rectus abdominis, transversus castarum that I'm pointing at right there, and scalenus from the one I was under earlier. Okay. The next process here is very difficult. It's called the coracobrachialis. Most likely, you're probably going to want to call me over to help you out on this. Uh, we're going to have to make sure that the uh, arm can really uh, flex out, so I'm going to cut through a little bit more of my pectoralis muscles. You get a really nice view right now of the subscapularis. Uh, this, of course, is all um, subscapularis right here. This entire area, subscapularis. And then the serratus ventralis would be down there. So, the goal is I'm using my thumb right now, pushing around. I'm trying to find the coracoid process of the scapula. If you guys remember that, it was that kind of a bony projection on the scapula, the coracoid process. Uh, once I find it, and you're going to find this little white knob right there, okay, a little bony projection of the scapula, I feel around with my thumb and I find it. I'm going to remove some stuff off the surface of it. What I'm hoping to find, I'm going to find this little bundle of muscle that is right next to it, okay? Removing more of this connective tissue on the surface. We don't worry about much stuff. Okay, the landmark again is that bony projection. I'm locating it with my thumb. All right, and let's just highlight a couple things that we see here. All right, first off, you might see this muscle coming in right here. All right, this is the biceps brachii. Okay, biceps brachii is going to come all the way down, and we're going to look at him in another dissection later. And the thing that we want to find is, if this is my little bony projection right here, what we are looking for is right there. It's this little band of muscle that's running that direction. I'm actually going to get my probe underneath it. Okay, so let's watch, watch how we try to do this. All right, again, biceps brachii is up there. Okay, I'm just smoothing things out. I'm going to find this little bent bundle of muscle. You might be able to see him. He's right there. Okay, one little technique I like to do is bringing the shoulder, kind of flexing the shoulder in so I can get my probe underneath this muscle. And there it is right there. The probe is now under. Um, if you do this wrong, you can tear this muscle extremely easy. Okay, so make sure you see how we do this on the demo cat. Um, this is kind of a very tight fit in there, okay? You can't just force it. Again, I'm relieving pressure off the coracobrachialis, and now I can get the probe underneath there, okay? All right, the last part of this dissection is to come down here and take a look at the intercostals, the internal and external intercostals. Notice I have a very sharp scalpel. You're going to locate in between the ribs, and it's a very similar cut that you did when you located the transversus abdominis, okay? So I make a cut. 
make a little relief cut extremely shallow extremely shallow once again okay on this one you're not necessarily going to see ribs i mean you're not going to see organs i mean obviously if you go way too deep then you probably could um, so you got to be very careful it's probably just as thin if not thinner than your internal oblique that you cut through earlier Very nice to even see the side of my head on the corner there. That's because I'm focusing so hard trying to make sure this works. Very difficult. I can see my ray bands. Oh, they're gone. Okay, I'm doing that same technique where I pinch and I'm just lifting off a little piece of it. So you, the outer one is called the external intercostal, and the one underneath it is called the internal intercostal. Intercostal meaning, of course, between the ribs. These are the muscles that you can get cramps in when people are, you know, you're running or whatever. Um, these are the muscles in between your ribs that you stretch out uh, before a workout. And sometimes during running or swimming, you can actually get cramps in these muscles right here along by your ribs. These are also accessory muscles that help us breathe to inhale. Your intercostals um, can actually help lift up your rib cage to allow you to breathe in deeper, okay? A diaphragm goes down and your ribs kind of expand out and that's being done by these intercostals and that is pretty much it for the dissection so let's just do a quick highlight of the muscles that we should know okay again we should know the rectus abdominis starts here and it goes all the way down and this on this picture you can kind of see attached to the midline and it has those little bands to it it's our six pack right rectus abdominis we also then have the transversus costarum Okay, this little ribbon here, this little muscle. Okay, we then have the scalenus. Scalenus is running here, the first branch, and then the second branch. Kind of hard to draw this in. Okay, the coracobrachialis is right there. We then have the this little flap that's sticking up. This is the external intercostal, and what has been exposed here is the internal intercostal. All right, that pretty much sums up dissection number seven. Um, watch the video as many times as you need to. Be ready for class when we come and start this dissection.